All right, last time I promised you that we would be starting on coding today, and we will. In fact, we'll be work working with the number one most important command in R. That, of course, is the help command. So, uh, I showed you last time the help window in the bottom right corner of R Studio, uh, and I showed you that you can, of course, do a little search in there. So, this, I have a right searcher here for plot. Uh, maybe I want to do a search uh, for something else. Maybe I want to search for uh, something about data, maybe data dot frame, something that we'll be talking about a little bit later. So I can do a search for that. It will bring up the documentation for data dot frame. Now, this is one way that we can get help on things. And this is, of course, the most important thing with any sort of programming language, including R. How do you figure out how to use all this stuff, right? There's not just the commands that I'm going to talk about to you here, uh, although the commands that I'm going to talk to you about, talk to you about in this series of videos is going to cover most of what you're going to need to know, at least for an undergraduate economics education. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's always different kinds of options, you know, uh, if I tell you how to do a linear regression, say, well, then how do you, you know, maybe add a weight? I'm not going to talk about how to do sample weights in these videos, but you might want to know how to do sample weights. And so, well, if you're going to need figure out how to do that, you're going to need some form of outside help because there's no way that I can tell you all the different options that each of the commands has. There's no way that I can tell you about all the different commands that are out there. There are some ways to, you know, maybe you got to do something that I'm not going to talk about in these videos. So how are you going to figure that out? Well, one way is, of course, the help files. Uh, now, you can look in the uh, search, uh, search uh, bar right here in the help tab is one way to do this. We can also, here is our first line of code, use the help command. If I just do help, and then in parentheses, I do whatever I need help with. So let's go back to helping, getting help with plot. So I've typed in help, and then in parentheses, plot. If I run this line of code, it's going to take me to the help file for plot. So let's do that. So like I said before, I can run one line of code by putting my cursor there and doing control enter. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Control enter. It's going to run. It's going to bring up the help file for plot right over here. So let's look at what a help file looks like. If we scroll down here, the first thing it's going to show me is usage. Okay, and that's this is a very important part of it. How do I actually use this function? I'm going to have, you know, it's going to have some arguments that it's going to need to go in. But this is telling me if I want to use plot as a function, well, I need to do parentheses just like I did with help. And then within it, I need to put some stuff in there. So instead of telling me to plot help, right, I'm going to have an X variable to plot. I'm going to have a Y variable to plot. And then I'm going to have some other options, the dot, dot, dot there that I can put in. If I scroll down, it'll tell me what kinds of options I can have. So this will tell me, okay, well, of course I got X. That's going to tell me what X means in this case, what Y means in this case. Oh, well, it's type. Oh, what type of plot? Well, maybe I can do a line plot or a point plot or a histogram or any sort of stuff. And maybe even some sorts of options that I didn't know were op out there. So, for example, I can change the aspect ratio. Do I want to do that? I don't know, but maybe sometime I do. And when I do want to do that, I can think, well, how do I do that? Just go to the help file. It'll tell you how to do it, okay? Uh, often, also, there are some other uh, things that it can take you to. So you might say, well, this isn't exactly doing what I want it to do. I want to plot something that this command can't handle. It'll send me to some other commands that do similar things. Also, even better, down here at the bottom, it'll have examples. These are golden. If you ask me, this is where I go first, even before reading the rest of the help file, because I want to know what it looks like to properly use that command. Because sometimes, you know, writing out commands and code can be really finicky and tricky. You want to get it right. So looking at an example of something that should work correctly, if you're using it and it looks exactly like that and it's still not working, you know the problem is somewhere else, right? So you can just sort of see what it looks like to use the command correctly. So that's how we can use the help function in R. Of course, once again, the most useful function in the entire system of R. Uh, and however, sometimes you don't know, it doesn't take you far enough. Right? Maybe you want to know how to do a particular thing. You don't know the name of the command for that thing. That's why you need to look it up. In that case, really, Google is your friend. Uh, and you know you can search for R. I just put R plot. Let's say I didn't know what the name of the plot function was. Let's say I just want to do R make a graph. Okay, And that will take me, oh, look, it's got a nice video here that I can watch for how to do this. Uh, or quick R is a very good resource. If, you have, if, you, if your Google search brings up quick R, often that will give you a pretty good uh, rundown of what you're supposed to do. Another good place, if you're doing something a little bit more complex, is Stack Exchange. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Stack Exchange. Uh, I find that I'll, a lot of the time you'll click on a question and the only answers will be people saying, you shouldn't ask this question, which isn't particularly helpful. Um, but uh, 
uh, Stack Exchange is a good place uh, where, pe where people who know a lot about R and other kinds of programming languages will go and answer questions. So again, if Google brings up a Stack Exchange thread, you're probably pretty good to go there and check it out. Uh, lastly, uh, I have a set of, a con of uh, R resources on my website. If you go to nickchk.com slash econometrics.html, uh, or just go to nickchk.com and click on the econometrics link, uh, it will take you to this page right here, uh, which has a lot of resources for how to use R. Uh, this includes some cheat sheets. It includes some links to some other uh, materials that you might use to learn. For example, this Florian Heist book, which has a free ebook and uh, follows along with the Wooldridge, introductory Wooldridge textbook. So if you're in a class that uses Wooldridge, but you're you doing R, well, the Florian Heist textbook is the way to go because they're exactly matched with each other. Uh, some other particularly good ones, the Guide to R for Santa Clara University Economics Students. It's a lot like this series of videos, except that it's written uh, and it's targeted at economics undergraduate students. Uh, it's even got some more advanced stuff here if you're interested. And if you're a Stata person, uh, it's got this link here to uh, R for Stata users, which I found immensely helpful because I started in Stata before I switched, uh, started using R a little bit more often. All right, uh, so that is the uh, basic idea of uh, 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 how we can get some help on R if we don't know how to do something. We got the help search bar, we got the help command, uh, and uh, we can go on the internet, Google, Stack Exchange, Quick R, uh, my website. One last thing, and R will often uh, uh, point you to this if, 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 you're, if, if uh, you're not sure about it, but some things uh, you can't use the help function, but there are other ways to search through the help documentation in R, and that is question mark, question mark. Uh, and then you put in whatever it is that you need to do. So for example, I do question mark, question mark plot. Uh, it will search through its sort of more broad set of help files and it will look and see what kinds of things it can find. See, it's taking a little bit longer right here, uh, but it's bringing in up, not, not just the plot command, but all the different kinds of ways in which plots show up in R. Now this is a very long list. It's probably longer than we can really do something with. But this is a good way of searching through the R documentation directly if you don't know the exact command name but you know a general idea of what you want to do, or if you have a, some sort of package and you want to understand the functions within that package, uh, this is a good way to do it, the question mark, question mark approach. All right, that's it. Uh, and uh, uh, hopefully now you know at least where to go if what I'm going to tell you in the next videos isn't quite enough to get you there. Thank you.